these are apple fizzlers. Check out that fat surfer. What? Hello folks, I'm Scott Turns So Outdoors. Today I'm up in Washington State with the beautiful Jessica Caldwell from All Kind Academy. And we're out at Westport, Washington, and we're gonna get out some jetty fishing out here. Now, you probably know Jess from a lot of our adventures if you follow the channel. You know, everything from down to Old Mexico to Alaska freezing her butts off on Cascade catching Jumbo Purge. But Jess is doing some great things up here in Washington State. She uh, is creating a ton of survival content and has classes that you can take up here. Like you can go out and do foraging. She's making uh, leather out of fish skin, <laughs> all kinds of cool stuff. But I'm gonna put hyperlinks in the video description below so you can check out all of her social media platforms and see what she's doing. And as well, I always put all the gear in the video description so you can hit those hyperlinks buy that stuff online and you can come out here and you'll be set when you come out to uh catch some of these jetty fish but uh for a long time i've wanted to come up here and see if the same tactics down that i use on the newport jetty and garibaldi if they work up here it's a lot of the same fish it's a lot of black rock fish ling cod um you know you can throw your snares out and catch crab there's a lot of surf perch up here as well but it's it's a different jetty, it's a different topography. There's different prevailing winds coming in. There could be different uh, bait fish out there. So we're gonna start there and use those tactics. And if those don't work, then we'll just change it up. You know, that's my true definition of a fisherman. It's not a guy that can go to one spot and just kill it every time. It's a fisherman that can go anywhere in the world and catch fish. So that's what I always strive to do. And that might be what we have to do here. And we're gonna share everything we find with you folks. You know, and when you come out here to fish, make sure you check with the state regulations so you uh, don't get in trouble because something I say in one of my videos here, like the limits might change, uh, lengths of the fish you can keep might change, the seasons for sure can change, and that can be from month to month. So make sure and check those out. But uh, I think this is gonna be a ton of fun. We're gonna catch the fish. Trust me, folks, we're gonna catch fish. He's and gonna make me walk down that mile long yeah, jetty. That thing is like a <laughs> mile long. Rocks. <laughs> oh my Wear gosh. great shoes. Yep. Wear some good shoes. And if you come out here, if the wind is bad out here, to, if it's over 25 miles an hour, honestly, I won't even monkey with it out here because you have to fish that that far side of the jetty. That's where all the fish are. This side isn't that great. There's a bunch of people out here that are surfing, and it's great weather and. We're gonna show you folks how to catch ton of fish. So come along for the adventure. I think you're gonna like this one. Let's do it. Let's get them. <laughs> cast into you can see it there's just tons of this grass everywhere to make it super tough another sea monster right you might have a big one you gotta watch out there's like oh there's so much stuff down there Get the pressure on him. Oh, I see him. There he is. <laughs> it's not big. It's none of those little dudes. They're still super fun. Fish after fish after fish. Never catching the same one. <laughs> same guy. <laughs> right? Now they they cruise through schools like they're probably all like same size. 
kind of weird. These ones are kind of light colored. I think it's the same type, but maybe it's a smaller version. Send him back. Nice work. So fun. All right, let's go again. <laughs> out of the grass. Yeah, we got something good here. Come on. Black rock fish. It's a good one too. Look at this. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about right there. That's what we're trying to get. Yeah. That's what we're after right there, folks. Heck yeah. That's some good eats. Wow. That's a good size one too. It sure is. It's so hard to pull them out of this kelp and that grass down there. That is exactly what we're after, folks. Man, that's about six fish tacos. How much does that weigh? That's it. <laughs> it's about six fish tacos. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, these things are amazing. So cool looking. Yeah, people pay hundreds of dollars to go out on charters and catch these. They come right out here on the jetty. Get them just like that. D-I-Y. Yes. You get some. Awesome. Let's get some more. Heck yeah. I almost dropped them. These things have spines all over them. You just laced me open with like one of these. And a lot of these fish out here, lice fish have like poison in those things. I'm lucky it's not hurting already, but... Medic! <laughs> It's, just, right? it's actually why it's not a bad idea to have a net down here just to throw these things in while you're trying to deal with them because they'll shake like you can hold on to them pretty good like a bass but they'll get away like he almost did i guess he got me too folks this is one of those like off the beaten path mom and pop stores over here if you're ever in like around Tenino or Olympia you gotta check out this place the cider mill these guys make so much goodness in here there's this little lady and um, she just oh, she's the best she just hooks everybody up we actually called her to come in a little bit early because we're headed down to the jetty to go fishing She's gonna hook us up with like the best donuts on the planet. Like everything they have in here is like infused with apple goodness. They have cider, these, I mean, everything you can imagine this apple that you can put in a donut, they have it here. This place is amazing, you gotta check it out. You gotta come stop by. Looks like I got a bunch of fruit. There's candy, some goodies. We're gonna get some deliciousness. I just like everything in here. <laughs> it's some kind of apple. Oh, it's so good. Oh, here's all the cider. Back. I'm gonna need one of these right here. It's good stuff. This is our whole reason for coming here. These things, these are Apple Bismarck's. They are the best donuts on the planet. <laughs> okay. Oh my God. Huh? Are you gonna share one or shake it? Super busy on the weekends. Probably gonna be a ton of people down here. That's all right. We'll catch our fish.
casting out these little jigs, these, uh, they're sandworms, what they call them. They're made by gulp, just little two inches. You want a quarter ounce jig head on there and cast them out. Basically as far as you can with the light axis spinner rod, eight pound test, fluorocarbon on here. And let it drop to the bottom. And sometimes they're hitting it on the way down. What I like to do is I'll, I like to pop it a lot of times and then just let it drop, drop, drop. And once it hits the bottom, then you start working it back. And it's just usually like you feel like one sharp little tap or it feels heavy. Just like that. Just like that. It was like a little feller, but tried and true. Just a little guy. We're looking for his papa. I mean, I think I barely make a taco. <laughs> really think I grow up. Nice, but there's this bump. There must just be a ton of fish out here. We've literally had to bite every cat. We got one keeper in the bucket, but it's been these little tiny guys. And it might just be there's a bunch of little ones here, and we'll just have to scoot down the jetty a little ways. It does seem like the further out you go, the bigger the fish. It's not always true, but Wanna fish Newport, the North Jetty, South Jetty. Yeah, it seems like the further out you get, the bigger the fish are. Well, probably the less people go out there. The rocks get bigger, it's tougher to hop. Oh my gosh, I thought the last one was a little. <laughs> little fellers. They're smashing it. I mean, if you were uh, doing a survival show, a whole mess of those would probably get you a week, week's worth of food. But we let those grow up. Nice. Still a ton of fun. Fish is fish. I want to catch them all. Awesome. All right. Let's see if we can get popping. I know there's bigger ones out there. A little overcast today, it's like 65 degrees. You definitely want to bring a jacket out here because that fog can come in, it can rain at any time. You know, and wear some shoes with some good ankle support. Because when you're hopping these rocks, like you'll notice it the next day. You can roll an ankle out here, it can be dangerous. And if it rains a bunch, super slick. But it's pretty dry, it's overcast, nice weather, great fishing weather. And I would say, it seems like the, every, every time I've been out here, it seems like the wind's always blowing out of the north. And any time it's blowing over about 15, 20 miles an hour, it just makes it too tough to cast into this wind. Like, And then all the vegetation gets blown up against this thing. On fish. Three in a row, come on. Oh, I might spoke too soon. They like to take you down on that kelp. So I always try and hold my rod up high just to keep them out of that. They don't always work though. Oh my god, a blue. Oh my gosh, a giant leaf pod ate it. Look what? At that. He ate my fish, but he's not hooked. Oh, that's crazy. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know how I can let him swallow it. Holy cow! <laughs> That's bizarre. You got a link cod. That's a huge link cod. I don't know what to do. Oh. Like, I don't know where the hook's at. I can't see it oh. right now. Where? Oh, and the one time we don't bring a net? Look at him. He's just got it in his mouth. I'm trying to let him swallow is it. Is it a, a fish? It's a <laughs> giant link cod. It's a, a but is it a, did he eat your fish yes, that you had on your fish. line? He's trying oh, to swallow crazy. it. We gotta get somewhere I can grab them. Oh my gosh. This is nuts. This is freaking crazy. <laughs>
Oh yeah, bring it over. Good. Oh gosh. It's oh, giant teeth. I hope that line doesn't break. I don't think the line's gonna break. This is nuts. I can't, if I catch this fish, ugh. we had a net yesterday. I could have totally caught him if I had a net. I gotta get somewhere I can grab him. This is crazy. Oh, this just sucks because I had him right there. I mean, I was gonna catch this fish, it's so, so bad. Only Scott Turner catches a fish inside of a lingcod <laughs> or a fish within oh, a fish. Oh, bummer. Oh, no way. Dang it. If we had had the net, I had a giant lingcod right there. Pretty good size, this one. What you got? It's like a black rock fish. Oh, keep him out of that gong. Oh, there he is. That's a pretty good size, huh? Yeah, he's decent. He might be a keeper. Yeah, yeah. He'll make tacos. Ooh, great, great. Nice job. <laughs> Almost every one of them does that. Like, when you first grab them, they right? shake their head like crazy like that. And then they just, then they stop. <laughs> yeah, if you catch a pal of them, it will make your thumb rock. Yeah. Hold on. But, yeah. Okay, we'll keep it. Yep, yep. We'll Great. throw them in the bucket. We'll put it in the bucket. Yep. Nice work. <laughs> it's actually a nice day down here. Other than that. I apologize for the horn. <laughs> There's a big horn down here at the jetty. We're on the boats when the weather's bad. And it's like 100 yards that way. We got fish on. <laughs> I got a good fish. That right there, folks, is a jumbo. I think it looks like a big old smallmouth bass. Check that out. Oh my gosh. Dude, that thing is a battle. Holy moly. That's about 10 fish tacos right there. <laughs> Let me put this thing in the bucket. Get a surf perch right here. So we were fishing further out on the jetty. We caught a bunch of black rockfish out there, and the wind was picking up, started raining and spitting rain. But I always wanted to come in here and try and fish for surf perch because I've heard there's a ton of them out here. And we came up here like just out of the surf where actually the surfers are. And first cast, we both got one. Boom. The same rigs. <laughs> Yeah. Like, that's pretty cool. Like these things are supposed to be super delicious. And I've always wanted to get into them. And I think there's a pile of them right here. Like, I think we're gonna kill it. This, this is gonna be fun. I All hope, right. I hope. <laughs> yeah, and this was this is Jess's her first cast too. Like, <laughs> holy cow. This is all I've been using. Is using these gulp sandworms. Add on just an eighth ounce jig head. Quarter ounce if you want to get it out there a little bit further. But uh yeah. 
super, super simple setup. Just take these little dudes, and thread it on. And I like to get it over the base of that jig head. And I don't think the color of the jig head matters quite as much. I like a dark one. Maybe a green or a brown would work even better than that since so it's the same color as that, that grub. But that little dude has been money. Let's get some more. There's one. It's like a decent sized one too. Look at that. Oh, nice. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Look at that dude. <laughs> That's so sweet. That's awesome. We're in the surf perch. Come on. <laughs> Oh my gosh, yeah. my turn, my turn. Yeah, right? Just sitting up here on this <laughs> big old rock watching the surfers. Come on, fishy, fishy. I'm glad we saw those guys earlier to know where to go. And catch this great, great here. Yeah, yeah that's, that's called the earth. <laughs> the earth. Yeah. I got a big rock. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's the only bad thing about fishing out here. Everything uh, wants to snag and break your line. Check that out, folks. That is a big old chunk of surf perch right there. This is just, uh, it's entirely too much fun out here. There's just so much opportunity to catch fish out here. Tons of black rock fish. There's big lingcod out here. Um, you catch crab with snares, and then big old surf perch right here. There's a ton of them. I mean, maybe it's not like this all the time, but he just hammered that jig. See that little dude? That's all I was using. I think if I downsize that, and just put like a size six hook, like running off a main line with the sinker on the bottom, I would probably catch even more. But that's just a fun way to catch them. Folks, you gotta get down here to Westport. This is just too much fun. We've had so much fun creating content for you guys. I hope you love the video. If you do, I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel, cast us a like. In the meantime, get them catch you still at Summer Outdoors. Thanks for watching, folks. <laughs>
<laughs> hey, but the good thing is, you still got the fish up. Hey, you know what? I keep my blooper. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we never worry about those. <laughs>